Tonight, we say goodbye to a legend. Morley Safer is retiring after 52 years at CBS News and 46 years at 60 Minutes, the show's longest serving correspondent. As he prepares to sign off tonight, Morley looks back on his unparalleled career. I was working in the London Bureau of CBS in 1964, and I got a call from the news manager and said, Look, we want you to go to Vietnam. It'll, it'll only be for a couple of months, maybe six months most. That war is going to be over by then. They're bringing the wounded man through any minute now. It was just at the point that the war began to escalate. And just as the medevac came in, the boy died. He was 17. And the one question that occurred to all And it was clear that this was big time war, that America was going to war in Southeast Asia. Come this way, Khan. Cam Ne was a village, and essentially the Marines went in to destroy. It was a search and destroy operation that was really a destroy operation. They burned most of the hamlets. They were burned with flamethrowers, with their cigarette lighters. They found no Viet Cong that were visibly Viet Cong, because there were only old men and women and small children in the village. I covered it. This is what the war in Vietnam is all about. And the story, uh, when it was reported, created a, a huge firestorm back here. Every conceivable fiction was spread. One, that I was a communist. And somebody explained to President Johnson that I was a Canadian. And he said, well, I knew there was something wrong with it. I really have, I guess, just been to about every corner of the world. I went to Abkhazia, part of Soviet Russia, where the average longevity was way up there in the 90s, and many people well over 100. Tarash Japua is 103. His youngest daughter is 22, born when he was 81. We had a wonderful shot of a rather elderly man gathering firewood, and he explained that he had to get back down to the bottom of the mountain because there was a big party going on. It was his mother's birthday. She was well over 100. All their friends and neighbors and families and everyone else was there. Swilling the worst wine I've ever, ever had the misfortune to drink in my life. But drinking it down by the gallon. One of the great pleasures of this work, and maybe, maybe the greatest pleasure, is that you get to do things and you get to see things that uh, very few people get access to. Truly original reporting. Morley Safer, A Reporter's Life, airs tonight on CBS following 60 Minutes.